Hey guys, Ryan here, bringing you all another Star Cup commentary. It's going to be a Winners League semi-final playoffs, playoff semi-finals, whichever. It's going to be the second set between Hwasung Oz against KTF Magix. Jadong having taken the first set against Hoja, now he's going to be faced off against his old teammate, Mr. 4GG. Now, despite these guys being uh, teammates, I believe there's a slight rivalry between them. Seeing as how back, uh, a few seasons back, 4GG stole an MSL title. Well, first of all, stole a Jadong Flash final from everybody, and then stole an MSL title from Jadong by 3 owing the guy in the Arena MSL finals. That was madness, really. That was insane to see. I haven't really seen these guys play. I don't think these guys have actually played each other officially since then. So, in that regard, Portuguese definitely has the advantage in that regard, but I'm not really sure. Both guys are teammates. They probably know each other's play styles. Well, they were teammates, but they know each other's play styles. That's probably why KJF are sending 4G out there. They, he still he knows Jadon. 4, 3, 2, 1... Go. At least I assume he knows Jadon. Plus, for Gigi's best matchup by far is against Zerg. He's a Zerg sniper, so that's what they're hoping for here. This is going to be on Medusa, and we're going to have Jadon here at the Tevin. 10. Tevin? Yeah, the Tevin is short for 10 or 11 o'clock. That's what we're going to call it now. Tevin at Green Zerg. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to have for Gigi who's dropping his hands as Terran in purple trying to stretch. At 6 o'clock or so, yeah. Jadon gonna send his overlord in the correct direction. So overall there's gonna be C. We're gonna see how for Gigi, the first game he plays for KTF in a very big spot. KTF has been, you know, running around getting some, getting several players from other teams, getting some trades going. They got, started off the season, of course, by getting Luxury. Then they got themselves um, Shine, who's kind of a mediocre, you know, standard mediocre player. He wins games for you, but he's not nothing special, and he's not the most fun player to watch, really. Now they've gotten some for Gigi, who will definitely help out their lineup, although I I'm not, I'm not going to go into a debate as to what kind of player they should be getting, I, but I think if KTF needs anything, KTF needs a Protoss, because they have no, they have a couple of, pro, they have Bako, who's injured now, and he's Bako, you know. They have a couple of promising players, like Young, I believe, but just no solid Protoss, so and I think in that regard, that's pretty much what KTF needs, but we're going to see overall here how it is that for Gigi manages to play against his old teammate Jadong, and of course Jadong also should know for Gigi's favorite style of play. For Gigi now, apparently thinking of walling off his natural, sitting out on a CV scout in the correct direction. So he's definitely gonna spot Jadong's build. Jadong going for a 12 patch. Apparently, he's gonna go early economy. It's a three-player map. Lots of fun between these two races on this map. A very Protoss heavy map, so this would have been good for... If KTF actually had a decent uh, Protoss, they would actually be able to sell them out against Zerong, but of course they don't really have... They pretty much have Zergs and Terrans only. Here's Flash <laughs> being shown on the camera. Flash is a player that's rather shy sometimes when he's on camera. He doesn't always know how to react to that. Oz signs all over the place and ooh, early expansion expanding by 4GG too. I didn't even I think he's put up his barracks. I hope for it. Oh, he must have put down a barracks before that CC because otherwise that was very dangerous for him. The third hatchery on the other side put up for Jadon. Both players going very heavy economy. So Jadon getting his natural as well as his mineral only. And now we're seeing these friggin' mascots. Are those KTF? I think are those Oz mascots? Because they don't look like the usual KTF mascots. They look even more retarded than I'm used to seeing the. So now, oh wow! So actually, for GG actually went for 14 CC, feeling completely safe doing that. Also now putting down a barracks. There are actually two drones in the location. They're trying to disrupt as much as they can. Not really going to do too much, uh, but they could delay the barracks for a little while. But I think this we should be able to hold off just now. The spawning pool coming up for Jadon on the other side. And for GG getting a full scout. I'm not quite sure if he spotted the other. The other hatcher or not. Meanwhile, Jaden does have one drone that was forced outside, but did get one scout inside. Jaden also now getting his gas. For Gigi still has his own SCV scouting around inside. So Jaden has that one drone running around and getting the scout. So uh, should lose it as soon as the first submarine comes out. Might even lose it to an SCV. So he's not careful. He needs one more hit. And yeah, is he going to transfer? No, none of them are going to engage that drone. 
as they move around, just gonna wait for the. Uh, I thought Jalen was gonna maybe use the extractor check, uh, build an extractor to recover all the health of the drone, but he's probably not gonna waste the minerals. He needs those minerals, especially since he put down two hatcheries. So every mineral he has to spare, he needs. He's gonna let just it recover some health naturally. But now he's gonna have to be forcing that drone just inside of the main because there are marines at the natural gonna be coming out. That first marine now out, and the drone dies instantly. So Jadong also putting down a Hydra Den uh, while establishing his natural. So he's gonna go into three heads of lurkers apparently. Uh, I have seen a lot of Zerg players these days use uh, Hydralisks, although Hydras usually come a little bit later in the game, not quite this early, so I definitely think this is the Lurkers from Jadong. I think that's a pretty smart idea, while on the other side, for Gigi's actually going for Mac, getting his getting his factory up. A lot of players these days going for Mac, and for Gigi's not a, a player who's shy of that at all. And there's a rather cool picture of Jadong. They kept Oz Jadong, all this Hwasung Oz. How, the, how come the Koreans don't know this and I know this? What's, what's going on? It's weird. It's wrong. So yeah, Jadong just getting his Hydra Deno up has a, oh, his first two Zerklings out there and just there to prevent the scout. I'm not sure if he's building anymore, just getting his economy up. We're going to see whether he has first Hydra now up and we're going to see whether he morphs that into a Lurker or not. For Gigi gets the scout on it all, though, so he's going to be expecting it. I'm mean, assuming... I assume for his point, for for his sake, he's going to be putting down some, okay, two armories actually, wow, and a second factory as well, so he's going very early armories, he's going to be getting the stuff he needs, I think he should be getting down the economy.